there's been a lot of controversy about this set, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms, so not the Commander Legends uh, set that's been, I guess, overly hated by the Magic the Gathering fans. Uh, but the thing is, there was an alleged message from one of the Wizards of the Coast staff, one of the designers, actually, Big Shots, uh, saying that uh, Adventures in the Forgotten Realms is one of the most well-selling sets in Magic's history. And a lot of people would go on Reddit and say, wait, wh wh how? Because, I mean, look at the stores. There's like so many uh, discounts on collector's boxes. Even this gift edition one that contains that collector's booster, one collector's booster, which I've gotten at a very nice discount. So that would actually... Um, kind of verify that that it's true you can find these at very cheap prices and, and there's a lot of stock so a lot of people were complaining that this set, set is really bad there's actually like five uh, major reasons they would point out not, it, quality is not one of them I, I would I, I would assume that there's something like look, what, what, what's going on here uh, that that it was something with quality, but no, apparently this is just a, a weird coincidence. And there's um, several points people would make on Reddit why this set is supposedly bad, and there were people making actually actually making valid counterpoints. Some were contradicting themselves. Uh, I mean, like uh, one person would contradict. The other saying that no, it's actually the other way around. And the first, I would say, the major, uh, major reason. Oh, let's have a look at. Wait, you get these dungeons inside. I almost missed it. Uh, the first major reason was related to the collector's versions of these uh the first thing i want to point out th those are the gift bundle versions like th this one and you can get them at a really nice uh price now there's a nice stock of them but if you search for the regular ones you'll notice that there's not many of them oh it looks like uh the front of a rain dies die kind of it's like a mixture of blue and purple mm, and you will see that these guys are really cheap and the the holiday bundle although it's not named holiday holiday bundle now it's gift edition are uh, well stocked wait are these kind of warped hmm. uh, it, the stock is really nice you will get a lot. Oh, this this is kind of like sturdier than usual, I think. Um, and you will get the regular ones, uh, the the whole bundle with ten booster packs. Those will be almost non-existent in, in, in. I'm kicking the table. Uh, non-existent in the LGSs. They were bought out, and I feel like this is the first kind of counterpoint. Uh, to whether or not they sold really well because when they came out the the first bundle sold well the booster boxes the sets uh, like commander sets all the stuff would sell nicely to uh, Forgotten Realms fans and to some magic fans of course but after a while you would have the regular fans uh, who buy magic cards uh, going for different sets instead of this one and that caused an issue because the collector boosters the collector set that came later came out later the bundle those weren't as popular as like initially so uh, you might think that perhaps that was the case when people just bought out the new stuff and there were new players in magic who just 
got interested in Forgotten Realms. And they went for different sets after that. That was basically why uh, D&D fans would start playing Magic and Magic fans would dislike the set. That, that would be the argument and it actually makes sense. But there's a really strange theory going around. That would be like the reason too why the set is supposed to be bad. Uh, LGSs would sell a lot of uh, sealed products, but not the uh, singles. So apparently a lot of people would say that no one would buy the singles in their LGS. And that was like why they think this is a terrible set. But if you look at card prices, there's several uncommons, like uh, five uncommons that are really pricey, and even two commons that are really, really pricey. And we're talking about buying singles that is allegedly, allegedly non-existent, non-existent for this set. Uh, so why are people buying out uh, unexpected windfall or deadly dispute, which are commons at such a high price? If if you can get them, like you should, you should be getting them for almost free, right? They're they're commons. So why why are people paying uh, a lot of uh, cash for a lot of cash, a high price for wizard class or cleric class? Uh, Moonless Cleric, Prosperous Innkeeper, especially. I mean, like, those are cards that uh, you would get for Standard, for example. So, I guess there were also people... Oh, those are gorgeous. There were people who would assume that Commander players are, like, limited but not Standard. And uh, th this is where it counts, and uh, we're not we're not saying selling the 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 bulk. Maybe that was the the idea that there's so much bulk here, though. It's a big set. The thing about these is, look how pringled they are. So you're getting a nice foily treasure chest. With these, you're getting them really cheap comparing to. Come on, come. If you compare them to other like holiday bundles, those are really cheap. They are uh, like they were released not even a year ago, I think. I mean the the special bundle. They have marvelous lands. They have a pretty sweet foil land pack. Oversized die that's purple blue, and. Kind of like like a free. I would consider this almost free because if you go uh, to a store and try to find uh, the the um, the regular the regular um, Forgotten Realms bundle, it, they were sold out, but there are some which are still available, and they are overpriced, not underpriced. Like they, they don't get rebated. They get um charge more so the funny thing is sometimes oh evolving wild sometimes you might even find a regular box that costs more in one store than the the, the collector's uh, free collector booster one basically which would be uh discounted and cheaper this is kind of weird for, for because there's so much hate for this this set and it's coming from uh, like these this boomer perspective like we it used to be different kind of people you know it, it used to be different when i played oh ellie wick so nice my our first Mythic and uh, Foyerx Xanatar or Xanatar, beautiful opening. I, I should I now let's leave this uh, for for the final booster to be opened, you guys. You can skip the shitty video 
right away to the end, I guess, if you don't want to watch the regular ones. But hey, there's still like reason free, because why, why did people hate this set? And who hated it? Apparently, it was the draft fanatics. The draft fanatics is kind of like a like a small niche, I would say, uh, of players who uh, they matter because they buy the stuff later, like after release. Those are the guys who will keep on buying boosters, booster packs, like booster boxes, because they play draft. And because they enjoy the, the drafting experience, they don't uh, construct their decks uh, for, for the, you know, the meeting with their buddies. They construct their decks during the meeting when they, they, they enjoy making new decks and the drafting experience. So a lot of those who claim that they enjoy the draft, they buy it for the draft. They said it, it's it's terrible for drafting. They claimed that. But there were also others saying that uh, actually they are really fun to draft. Let me sniff. It, the smell is really different. They smell really nice. Although they are made in the USA, the, the USA made cards usually have a, like a really weird ink smell that I dislike. Not these ones. And, uh, they have really nice quality, they have a nice feel. Then of the bugbear, I feel it's the maybe the highest highest priced rare, if if I'm correct. I, I think so. Like, like or one of the highest rank the highest um, priced rares. This unboxing is going really really nicely and the the, the cards go out real smooth out of the packs. If you haven't watched my videos, I really dislike tearing open the back, so I cut off the the top part and like to slide slide them out. Uh, I mean, yeah, I'm placing them in the right place. Uh, and I really enjoy when there are a really well packed, I would say that they slide out. Paladin class is Paladin class one of the better ones. I think all the class ones, even the commons, are really pricey. Um. Okay, so we covered the draft. The thing is, it, there was more, like more people, more giving more reasons why they, the set is supposed to be. Uh, bad and oh, wizards class with Wiz, wizards class and uncommon. Yeah, it's an uncommon. Is, is it one of the, the higher price ones? Yes, it is. And uh, people would say that the reason is the fans, not magic fans, the um, Forgotten Realms fans were disappointed because they weren't getting uh, their favorite characters there. Someone said like, wait, where's Elminster, for example? And uh, and why is there like, a, what's it called? Uh, Greyhawk. Greyhawk characters. Oh, Deadly Disputes. We should probably check out how many Deadly Disputes we have because that's the highest, uh, highest uh, prized uh, common and you will have this card go up in price significantly i can assure you it's one of those cards like rustic study where the common is one of the greatest cards in the set this is really useful and prosperous innkeeper another really useful card that is this time it's an uncommon one of the price here was fighter class so the class ones are really sought after sudden insight. Uh, this is our foil. And um, the thing is, a lot of people were initially, initially, because I say initially because uh, uh, later you, you would learn that uh, it's not that 
these characters were limited because people ran out of ideas but they would just like put new ones and because they, they, they didn't know the lore they wanted to include some of them only uh, some of them only and some of them the missing ones would appear in Commander Legends later so I guess that thing's covered to, which brings us to the final fifth argument why did people say that this set is really weak when it comes for power you will get werewolf pack leader oh man the book of exalted deeds i was thinking is there a chance that i will get it? this is one of the most overpowered cards in in this set and i get it in fall like the mythic i got two mythics out of this box i'm so happy so I, I was thinking maybe I will get it. I, I don't know. I would add it to my my uh, Sephara deck. That would be nice. That would be such a sweet card to get out of this set. And and I, I really disliked it. It, it this, is, this is like the infamous uh, it, like infamous um, game stopper combo in in MTG Arena when you would just put it on the table. You, your opponent can't win. You just like do the waiting game for half an hour or so until they basically they mill themselves and that was such a jackass move flames gone that's a mythic and the thing is old gnawbone oh that's the that's the most um most pricey card in the whole set if i'm correct yes i, I think i am correct so i'm getting like complete utterly ridiculous value out of this this one card probably costs more than the whole uh, box the thing is that's the final the final argument that this set is weak is this card weak you could literally uh check the prices there's so many commons uncommons that are so pricey there's Awesome cards in it. I, what's there not to like? I, I feel like the people who just complain of it are just like hating it because it's not another like a regular uh, my MTG said they hate the fact that there are other products being introduced. But the thing is, we're getting more DB, uh, DBD. <laughs> this is a DVD. The, the MTG players this way, we, we will get. Uh, Dungeons and Dragon fans, next year we will get a Lord of the Rings uh, sets for this, and, and the Lord of the Rings might want to check out Magic the Gathering this way. I, I feel like this is great. This is um, an amazing opportunity to, for for new players to find out about this game. I, I don't know. I have. Please tell me in the comments if, if I'm wrong and maybe this this is a terrible set. Although this is one of the greatest sets released in 2021, in my opinion. Anyway, if you like the video, be sure to like it uh, down below. You can always subscribe to my channel. Have a great day. Catch you in another video.